Thank you all for inviting me into the community. This marks my last show at WBKB. I will be headed to Columbus, Georgia to be a sports anchor at WLTZ. I'll cover high school teams and colleges like Auburn. But I could not end my last show without showing some of my favorite plays and special moments from WBKB. Starting with Alpena Hockey, the Wildcats faced Detroit Country Day, who would go on to win the Division III state championship. With seven tenths of a second to go, Anthony Berg with the no-look pass to Kyle Van Dusen, who whips a one-timer and scores the tying goal ending the game at one all. Now let's look back at the softball regional final between Onaway and Rogers City. Huron's Brooke Saley unleashes a deep shot to left out of the park for her first career home run. A two run shot that led to a seven to zero win. And it was in memory of her grandmother who passed away the day before. Back to Alpena, Chris Rocher aimed high and scored big for Wildcat basketball, breaking the school's all time scoring record and ending the season with 1,625 points. After reaching the milestone, DeRocher handed the game ball to his grandpa. All Gray Sims not only won their first football playoff game in school history, but the Wolverines also brought home their first trophy, taking the regional title over Deckerville 72 to 28, a Cinderella story that ended at the state semifinals. Talk about big time athletes. Alpena's Gabe Bullis and Eli Winter brought home the Division I state track meet championship in pole vault and discus. Winter dished out a personal best 180 foot and one inch throw and Bullis cleared a vault of 15 feet and three inches. Finally, I've got to talk about Oscoda basketball. The Owls won their first Big Dipper title since 1991. And on the same night, Braden Malik broke the school's assist record and Owen Franklin reached the school's three-point milestone. A team effort that led to the Owls' 17th win of the regular season, also tying a school record.